Well, the only time I've went up to Mauna Kea was once, maybe like two weeks prior. And I just went to see what was going on because I saw everything that happened on the April 2nd. So then I didn't really decide to come at all. I just, I just saw it. But then when I found out that they were going to go and do construction again, then I was like, okay, I need to go. And nobody told me, like, there was no call. Like, they didn't ask for people to come. I was, like, waiting for them to, like, we need everybody now. But no, they, there was, like, no call. I just felt like if they're going to try to go up there, then I need to be there. So um, I think I booked my flight, like, that day and went that night. So I came, so that was a Thursday. So um, I think I went up maybe Tuesday night or Wednesday night. Let me just. What day was that? Oh, that was, um, so June 24th was the day of the rest. So I came the 23rd and stepped over that night. And the next day we got up at 5 a.m. and we just talked about what we were going to do that day. And I was like, okay, I trust whatever you're saying. So I just stood in those lines that they had us do. And then when I was, when I got arrested, so the point was to have those different lines and each officers were going to approach you and tell you what was going on. But I don't know if you saw the video, there was like just one officer who was, you know, the one that like pushed his way through and like pushed everybody. And then Lori, like he, she was just walking up the mountain. And I guess she was like walking too slow. So he just grabbed her. He was like, oh, you're under arrest. And she's like, what? I was, I was walking. So she's like, but he was like, nope, it's too late. So she got arrested. So when he came to me, I think he was just in a bad mood. I think he just needed a Snickers because he just walked up to me. And like 20 seconds later, I was just arrested. I was like... And I was like, oh, no, I'll move. Like, you told me if I don't get arrested, I'll move. So I stepped back. And he said, no, it's too late. So it wasn't even 30 seconds that I was under arrest. So, like, I mean, some people, like, they, they knew they weren't going to move at all. Like, they're like, no, I'm not going to move. You're going to have to arrest me. So I can understand that. But there was maybe five of us who were, like, not even 30 seconds. And we're just arrested. You're like, no, I already decided you're coming with us. So that wasn't your intention to be arrested? No, not at all. I didn't have any bail money. Well, not at all. Like, I mean, if I want, if I wanted to get arrested, the plan was to be arrested at the top, at the altar, while we're in ceremony. But when we're down there, like most of us, like at least over half of us, like weren't planning to get arrested because they actually told you, do not get arrested at the bottom. We want you to get arrested at the top if you choose to do that. But I, I did. I didn't have any bail money, so I thought I was gonna have to stay in jail overnight. Well, I think it's like, no matter what happens, like whatever, whatever they decide to do, if they do decide to build it or if they don't decide to, like I really think like it just made such a big impact on the world, you know, like most people who have no idea about any Hawaiian issues, now you kind of know. And it's, I think the biggest thing is just like social media because that's where I saw it. That's where I get my news from. <laughs> so if it's not on there, then I wouldn't, I wouldn't know. So when I went to court, I was the first one up today. And first thing that they asked if I was okay with being filmed, and they said, oh, that's fine. Um, second thing that they asked me was um, if I needed to file for a public defendant, which I do need. And then, they, and then the judge sent me off. And as I walked off, and my turn was done, and the next person was going up, everybody said, you need to request your bail back. So I was surprised that they asked me if it was okay to be recorded. I need a public defender, but they didn't want to tell me that I could get my money back. So I was surprised. I was like, oh. So I had to wait. I had to have them recall. I had to talk to three different people to have my case recalled. And at the end, she finally returned my bill money.